Bill here with the Metals Minute. Today is Monday, October 17th, 2022. Well, it's tax deadline day, so you have, uh, you know, about 12, 18 hours to finalize that if you're still needing to get your taxes filed. Uh, but we have a lot of other things going on today. All the metals are higher. We've got uh, platinum up 2.5%, uh, silver's up around 3.5%, gold's up a percent and a half, and palladium is up uh, fractionally. So we've got all the metals moving higher today. There's a lot of uncertainty right now in the bond markets around the world. We've already talked about what's been going on in Europe. Now we have the United States Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, announcing that uh, they're exploring a bond buyback program for U.S. Treasuries. They're asking all the banks and dealers if they could benefit or if it would help with liquidity issues for them to purchase back old government bonds and reissue different ones. So this, uh, while they're saying this is not QE and it's not uh, anything like that, it's something completely different, uh, the fact remains that the system is very fragile right now and they feel like it's in need of uh, extra, extra funding. So that's, uh, uh, regardless of what they call it, it's uh, another case of intervention in world bond markets. And so this uh, may be partially driving the train uh, of physical metal. Uh, I know in some nations they've had a 1,700% increase in Turkey, for example, uh, of purchases and exchanges of paper currency for physical metal. And that's due to the depreciation of the lira. That's the Turkish currency. A similar thing is going on all around the world right now. In fact, uh, China, they're having the uh, the highest in six years, uh, highest demand for physical gold in, in terms of the premiums people are paying in China just to get the physical gold. And we also see the highest uh, price difference between the Shanghai Exchange and the London Bullion Market Association, the LBMA spot price. There's a continues to be a significant premium at a six-week high uh, in China. And that exchange is more focused on physical metal than the paper variation that's often traded here in the West. So we have some other developments in gold. Uh, they're also exploring a new way to digital, digi excuse me, digitally access most of the gold bars that are in vaults across the world as uh, investment gold that typically trades one way or another on most trading days. Uh, there's a move to digitalize those assets of physical gold using blockchain technology. Not sure how far they're going to get in this regard because the current players make a lot of money from manipulating uh, the precious metals prices. And by putting in this blockchain technology, that will eliminate a lot of the uh, funny games that sometimes goes on in the precious metals arena. So we have uh, a lot of physical demand combined with uh, new ways of trading gold and silver. And they're also opening up uh, to artisanal gold miners and those that... Uh, you know, recycle gold and whatnot. There, there's a move of foot to begin to accept various types of gold on the exchanges that historically hasn't been allowed. And so this is also another indication that supplies are getting tight in these exchanges because they're opening up to receiving other types of gold that typically weren't uh, allowed to be brought into the exchanges. They had to be in certain forms only and they're they're exploring the idea of uh, broadening the types of products that they'll receive. So all these signs are, are bullish signs for those of us involved in physical precious metals. And uh, so we encourage you to continue to stack as 
while you can at the prices that are pushed lower primarily in the United States primarily because of the strong dollar on the international scene probably won't always be that way and when that begins to come back down uh, that will uh, just amp up the gold and silver prices that much more so thanks for tuning in we'll see you again soon